All right, lads, hope you're all doing well. We're back, episode 19 of the Leeds United career mode. Now, in this one, we're going to be finishing off the month of January. We've got a massive game against Arsenal up first. Then it's a game against Everton. And to end the episode, it's only three in this one, but it's going to be all pals Stoke. Now, I have been having a little think to myself, and I wanted to see if we could come up with a name for everyone that's subscribed to the channel so far. Now, it's been going through my head in regards to how things are possible on here. I wouldn't be getting anywhere without you guys supporting us and things like that. So I think it's a team effort and sticking with that team effort, I was thinking, should we be called KO United? So we're a big team. I think it could be good. We could be doing things when the channel grows. We could be doing the subscriber of the month, things like that, bit like the player of the month. You never know. And we could always do like giveaways, things like that. But that would be in the future. Just take that into consideration. But what do you reckon? Do you think KO United, it's a good thing? It could be a bit like hashtag United. Them lads have been really successful. And I would absolutely love it if we could get big enough to get like a kit in the game. That would be absolutely unreal. If it is something that you would like to go ahead with, we can definitely look to put things in place. I mean, we can look to have like sort of a Discord open and things like that. I would like to have a lot more interaction with you. Not just through YouTube and the comments, but if we could get a, a good channel, a good team together. Like I say, I'm focusing on that team thing. It is a team effort, this. But we could get that done. I would look to do some decent logos. We could get some things going with that. So let us know, though. It's just an idea. I want to do this channel, and I want to do it for all of you. So it's going to be your suggestions. So let us know. Now, we're going to get into this video, we're going to look at some transfers, and we're going to get through these games. So, it's a game against Arsenal first, we're away in this one. We still had no offers in for Fabio Silva, which is baffling to me. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play him in this game, get him in the window, see if anyone thinks, oh, I want to pick that lad up. So, we'll see if that makes a difference, but let's get into this first game. Here's over the cheeky ball, Gendouzi, what a save from Nubel. I've said it in the last episode, this lad is starting to really pick up. I don't know whether that's because he's grown a little bit, but he's actually dropping down and saving it now. So, maybe he has been a good pick-up. Hazel. He's on the attack, instead of him being on Fortnite. Oh, God. Aubameyang. He's made what pay. Hazel, like I said, he's actually getting a game instead of him spending all his time on Fortnite. Aubameyang blasted. it. He was always going to score from there. We're one nil down, lads. It's not good. Ooh, they're in again. Phillips. Gibbs White. Cubo. I'm going to run at them a bit here. Halland. Halland this time. Come on, Halland. Ha! We've got a penalty, I think. <laughs> good for you, mate. Is he called Sule or Sulu or Adena Salisu? I don't know what he's called. He's got a red card though. That's what I know. He's missed a red card. He's an absolute beast. Hallen's been taken out. Oh, he's not looking happy, is he? This is a great opportunity to pull a goal back for it. Get back on level terms. It's Hallen versus Leno. What's going to happen? I'm going to go for a cheeky one up the top again. If I can bloody hell... Yeah, well, God almighty, it's taking too long. I just want to keep it there, man. Come on. Hallen's done it. Took a little bit too long. I'm sorry for that, lads. But I wanted to get it right. And we'll have got it right. We've made it 1-1. Hallen with a goal. I definitely think I've improved on penalties, even though it takes us about four weeks to take it. But still, we've made it 1-1. We'll have one more little look. If taking that length of time wasn't enough for you, there you go, and we've slotted it away. One more look. Just because he's nice. Slotted it in. Easy as that. Hazel. Got a ball into Saka. Saka with a cheeky one. Ah, Gibbs White, not good enough. Pepe. Pepe, 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 Pepe. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Just after that penalty and Aubameyang's done that. It was Pepe, 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 Pepe. And then a Bamiyang. Oh God Almighty! I just can't get over it. Ten men and we're already two-one down. 
Come on, scrambled egg. Pick it up. Wagner man. Beat him. Holland. Come on! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this kid now. Oh, I brought him on for Fabio Silva. He's made it 2 2. He's the new Messi to me, like. That's what I'm talking about, son. Holland with a nice little pass through. First time shot on the volley. Leno didn't stand a chance. Maybe that third, number 13's been good luck for him, like. Arsenal with a ball in. Salisu ball away, though. Hebe Bunch with a ball in. Obama Young, what a save. Gibbs White. Not good enough. Obama Young. Obama Young's been an absolute nightmare. Is that his hat trick, possibly? He's running over. He's going to go and give his manager a hug. How far has he ran, man? For them being down to 10 men, they've outplayed us, like. Hebe Bunch with a ball in. Wasn't good enough getting it out. Felt it with Bama Yang. There you go. Q-Boss. Come on, Q-Boss. Come on, son. Come on. Oh, it's Messi 2.0. Is that in? It is. Come on. 3-3. Three, three. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I absolutely love this lad. Who would have thought? 3-3. Three, three. It's been an interesting game. Q-Boss, though. Burst in. Easy. It was on a plate for him. Here we go, lads. Looks like we're going to draw this one. Didn't pick up the win, but it was certainly an interesting game. Six goals, man. Insane. Almada, Messi 2.0. You're not wrong. He was absolutely unreal. So glad I picked that lad up now. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10, if you can offer that. Uh, a draw was fully deserved. Oh, I'm just waiting here. For your last two encounters with Arsenal, you could not score a decisive goal. Is your offence having difficulties in scoring? We've just scored three goals, so we're having difficulty. Our offence is in shape. Get it sorted, mate. Yeah, no further questions, thank yep, I didn't think there'd be any more questions. See you later, mate. We've had two offers come in. Finally, one's come in for Silva. But it's not what I was expecting. It's Watford. I really didn't want to sell him to another Premier League team. But I did say I would if any offers came in. And we've got an offer in for Sands as well. We know what we're going to do with that one. We're rejecting them. Not a chance is he leaving. He's a really decent player. In regards to this lad though. The offer in 16 mil. I might push them. You can, be, we can get anywhere up to 21.6. If we can get 20 for him, I think that'd be fantastic. It would probably open the door for the likes of Hurtado and Greenwood. Can't even remember. But there you go. So we're going to do this deal. We're going to see if we can get 20 mil for him. If we can, it's absolutely unreal business. The only problem with it is, though, it's Watford. Another Premier League team, like I've said. What can you do, though? That's life. Is he going to play the game here? You should see that Silva's got hell of a lot of talent in him. New transfer fee. We'll go for that 21. Is he just going to shake his head and say, not a chance, son? 16 and 1%. I don't know if I want to just go for 16, like... Uh, 19. We'll go for 19. 1%. Deal. Boom. 19 mil for him. Looks like we're going to be able to bring in Greenwood and probably Hurtado, which I'm absolutely chuffed about. While we're waiting for that transfer to go through, we've got a home game against Everton. I'm hoping we can actually pick up a win here. That game against Arsenal, I thought was absolutely fantastic. But still, we did only draw. We have got the firepower. Obviously, we can put goals past decent uh, goalkeepers. I couldn't get my words out there. So, we've got Pickford in this one. I reckon we can score a couple past him. So, let's get in this game against Everton. A Warby with a ball through. Sigurdsson, a Warby, what a goal. Not even annoyed about that one. Absolutely unreal goal. But yet again, we're behind. I'm sick of having to come back, like. Fair play to him, though. Gibbs White, through a Messi 2.0. Plays in Haaland. Oh, we're going to have an answer straight away. Come on, Haaland. Off the post. Off the bloody post, man. Oh, he loves hitting the post, this lad, like. That's what I think I might call him. Bloody 
Missed that post. Gibbs White. Through a missed that post. Plays in Messi 2.0 here. Messi's 2.0 is played it back. He's going to go it alone. He can't do it either. Pickford. He's a force today, like. Out of Cubos. Cubos. Let's play it through. Messi 2.0. Come on, Messi 2.0. He's in. Messi. Can't play it across to De La Vega. That was just a mess. Mendy Phillips. Come on. Delph. Bernard. I knew it. It's every time they do that step over. Every single time, man. Oh, you mugs. And Warby, again. Ball's over. Wagner, man, it's open goal for Bellotti. I don't believe it. It's just felt a bit now. Oh, lads. I was hoping. Look at he's just rubbing it in my face. Giving it the big smiles. Kisses. Oh, God almighty. Didn't even take us out to dinner. And he's wanting to get a kiss. Jesus Christ. It's your lucky day, lads. We're going to be playing an extra game in this one. It's in the FA Cup. It's at home to Wickham. But just before we do get into that game, a little bit of news. Fabio Silva has went to Watford. We've got an extra 15 mil in the budget. So once we've added a nice little wage budget on there, let's have a little look. 103 is probably a bit much. But there you go. And we've got about 15 mil to play with. Now, we have got some reports back for Hurtado. And the other lad, Alvarez, so Hurtado, is meant to be between 10 and 13 mil. His release clause is only 7. He's a 75 rated overall. I like the looks of that lad. Alvarez, he's a 73. He's meant to be 7 million. And his release clause is only 3.4. So both good deals. If I had to choose between the two, though, it would be Hurtado. Greenwood, though, like I said, he's going to be between 5 and 7 million. Should we go for both? Am I just wasting the money? I don't know. It's probably... I'm going to have to go for someone, I think, before the end of the episode. I did want to just leave it, but I don't know whether that's leaving it too late. Transfer deadline day. We'll play this game. I'll have a think about it, and we'll come back to this one. Game in the FA Cup now, then. Hopefully, we can go through the next round. Fingers crossed. I am playing the second team in this one, but it is against Wickham, so surely we can get through and we can move on in the FA Cup. Sands, come on. Cardozo. Plays in Roberts. Come on, he's got a load of space. Roberts has missed. I should have played it across the board, but come on. We definitely need a new striker, like. Gee, oh, man. Cardozo, is this going to be one of our last attacks here? Out of Doku. Doku. Roberts. Oh my god. Absolutely diabolical that game, lads. Nil nil. We're gonna have to do a replay. It's not looking good for that leg. But what can you do? That's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. But there you go. In regards to the transfers, I've had a little think about it, and what I'm considering doing is we're gonna pull the trigger on Hurtado. I think he looks decent, he's got good shooting, good athleticism. He's really quick. He's got good strength and stamina. Everything that we need. He's going to cost with that 7 mil. That'll leave her with about, I don't know, 8 or something. Then we could potentially go for Greenwood. But what I'm going to do is, that's going to be down to you lot. So we'll go for Hurtado. And then, if you think I should buy Greenwood, I will. I wasn't necessarily thinking of playing him as striker. I was thinking with Hernandez retiring at the end of the season... Greenwood could be a fantastic replacement on the right. I know we've got Kubo and Doku, but Doku, he hasn't got the best stamina. And while he's still grown, Greenwood could come in. He could be fantastic on the right and bulk up the team pretty much. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull the trigger on Hurtado. Going to go, we're going to skip that release clause. Or skip the release clause, we're going to pay the release clause. Bring him into the team. And then like I say, it's down to use in regards to Greenwood. There you go then. We've brought him in. He signed a five-year deal, which I'm happy about. He's only on 24,500 a week, which is really decent, in my opinion. He's already worth more than what we paid for him, so it's a decent bit of business. If he doesn't work out for us, we can always sell him, and we're guaranteed a profit. So, there we go. But now, we're going to move on to that game against Stoke. It's going to be the last one of the episode. 
I'm hoping we can pick up a final three points in this one. It's much needed, especially after them past couple of games. So, without further ado, let's get into that game. Here we go then, we're at home. It's old pals from last season. We beat them the first time round. 2-0 I think it was, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to be looking for another three points today. We've got the first team out, so Hurtado's not going to be getting a look in in this game. But he's got time. He just needs that time to settle in. It's white. Phillips. Dinks it over. Messi 2.0. He's in here. Is he going to make it 1-0? No, he's not. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. I'm surprised at that leg, lads. Salisu. Gibbs way. Come on. 1-0. It's been a little while since he's done anything. But I'm happy. Scored a nice little goal there. He seems chuffed about it, so he should be. Maybe it's because we've changed formation. He's sitting a little bit further back now. Good goal from him, though. Oops, Stoke could have an answer straight away here. Oh, my God. I thought Salisi would pull him off enough. He kind of did, I suppose. But off the post. Come on, man. Through a cue, boss. Oh, this is looking good, this, lads. It's looking good, Cubo. Halland! Makes it two. Come on, lads. That was a nice little counter-attack goal, that leg. Definitely prefer two up top. Halland and Messi 2.0. As you notice, he's getting called Halland now. Wasn't missed that post there, like, because he actually put it away. Gibbs White. Oh, Halland could be in again, yeah? Is he going to make it three before half time? He is. Another goal. This is more like it. This is exactly how I want to be playing, lads. 3 0 up before half time. La Vega. Holland. He's done him. He's going to take the shot. Ooh. Nelly got a hat trick. Whacking that ball in. It's out. This fell as far as Coza. Can he get another one of them wonder goals? Off the bar. Phillips has picked that up. Holland, out of Messi 2.0. He's going to go for a volley. Oh, he scores! What a goal! Oh, my God. This kid is unreal now. We've got him in the correct position, clearly. Absolute magician. I'm going to have to have another look at that goal. Holland with a ball. Dinks it up. Goes for the volley. If that's not enough to be calling him Messi... 2.0. I don't know what is. That's what I'm talking about, lads. Come on. Phillips has picked that up. Oh, Messi. Messi 2.0. Is he going to get another one? Yes. Another one for him. Come on, lads. Give a like for that, lad. He's keeping that number 13 because it's certainly working in his favour. Fans are absolutely loving it. Again, though, Phillips picking up the ball. He was the difference here. Easy for him, this man. 5-0, lads. One of our best wins so far in this series. I'm absolutely buzzing with it. Why didn't Hurtado get his chance to make his debut? I knew that was what they were going to say. Good things come to those who wait. There you go. And you just got to be patient, son. Las Vegas is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance? He deserves all the praise. He's doing really well for it. With two goals for the win. Messi 2.0 was the hero today. Any thoughts? An overall great performance. I think Haaland did well as in this one. So he can't be forgotten about. Thanks for the question. Thanks very much, mate. See you later. After that 5-0 win, lads, I'm surprised, but we're currently sitting in 11th place. I definitely thought it would have been higher than that, but what can you do? It keeps the season interesting, that's all I can say. But we're currently on 36 points. Newcastle and Arsenal are just above, we're on 37. So it's not too bad, really. But when you look at the top of the table, you've got Spurs on 67, Man City on 62, Liverpool's there with 61. So the title race is still pretty close. Man United and Wolves are in 4th and 5th. I don't think we're going to get into Europe, but still... At least we're not going to be going down. I don't think anyway, unless something dramatic seriously happens. But we're going to be staying up. And I think that'll be a reasonably good season. But still, what I'm going to do in this episode as well, I'm going to introduce the player of the episode. Let us know who you think. I think it's Messi 2.0 for sure. Or Almada, or whatever you want to call him. But let us know your thoughts. Be interesting to see what you thought. Like I said, in regards to transfers, 
We've still got... Uh, let's have a look. I can't find the bloody budget. There it is. Jesus, man. So stay on the page. We've still got 7.8 mil. So, there's still that deal that could go through for Greenwood. If there's anyone else you think I should maybe pick up, Dejalo could be there for a backup on centre-back position. But I think we're pretty sorted at the back of the minute. I mean, Greenwood, he would just be coming in, like I say, as someone that could support Doku. But let us know. Like I say, if we can get him for 5.7 mil, I think that'll be a good deal. But drop that in the comments. What you would do in regards to Greenwood. I'm going to leave the episode there, lads. So if you liked it, drop a like. If you loved it, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.